Welcome to our Dream in the Woods. We're back at it again today. Uh, Eric's on the sawmill. We kind of got a mixed day. Um, Eric's got the morning and then he's gonna take off for a birthday party. And then we'll be back, hit it in the afternoon. And then we're gonna watch the Super Bowl. So uh, uh, hopefully to get through some nice logs today and keep adding to the stack. Eric beat me out here this morning, so He's got his first log up there. Looks like a daddy already has it cut to eight inches. Yeah. And so still targeting six by eight. And then we need 16 footers and 14 footers. So um, we'll take it. Looks like it'll make a nice log and some bonus material on top of that. So let's get to it. Second log of the day here, 16 footer, 12 inches on the butt. Got some, looks like an upper log, a lot of limbs. This came off a big tree, but looks straight, tapered quite a bit. So Eric will dissect it and get her cut. Got a nice, timber out of that last one uh, six by eight by 17 so stacking them up one at a time really nice I'll get that uh, one by six out of your way kind of a treat to have the weather we have and be able to put away and clean as we go
it's going to make it. Yeah. This is the only thing I'm worried about right here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I think we got to get six this way, so we're good. Yeah. We'll get eight this way, which we're nine and a half. Yeah. I think it's going to do it, man. It's going to do it. Look at that. A log that actually is going to match up to the box that he started with. <laughs> Those, those trees yesterday weren't doing that. went to his birthday party that he had to go to so I finished out this log just a really nice timber that's a 6 by 8 by 16 or 17 or something like that um, I like all those knots and everything that's in it it's gonna be really pretty so that's more than likely a roof rafter timber or there's also a tie beam that goes across the center section that uh, calls for the same dimension and length so uh, that's log number two for the day i'm gonna put it away and then i just have some edging to do um, some one by material let's get back to it Log number three is a challenge. I was going to cut this with chainsaw down to two different lengths, but couldn't figure out how to do it. Um, it's twisty in both directions, so it's a little hard to tell what to do with it. Twisty up above. There we're off the bunk, off the bunk here, off the bunk there, sitting on the bunk. So maybe sitting on two bunks out of that whole log on the bottom side. There's spots of straightness, but basically need to take a look at the cut list. Um, this is a 18 foot log. So maybe a, a 10 and an 8 is kind of what I'm thinking. Well, I finally committed and cut this piece here to 8 feet. That piece to 10, yeah, 10, a little over, eight, a little over 10. So eight foot pieces when I'm doing my cut list, um, nothing eight except right there, six by six by eight um, is the shortest dimensions that I'm looking for. So uh, that won't take me very long because there's not really any bonus material that I can take out of there. Um, I, mean, I cut a two by four, but I don't looking. I'm not looking for two by fours, and I can't really store two by fours. It might sound like a weird thing to say, but um, so much different 
lumber storage options out there that um, I have what I have. So I'm not making any more. The ideal world, I'd have a warehouse that I could stack all the extra stuff in, but I don't. <laughs> so six by six, and then out of this one, it's still going to be fairly crooked, but um, six by eight is what my target is out of that. Was able to get a six by six out of that. It seems like, a, you know, oh, not that big a deal, but still is a nice piece of uh, lumber, six by six by eight foot. Um, this one here, that's my target right there, is a six by eight. Uh, it's a crooked log, so I probably will cut it to, you know, the until I get my six inches then flip it because it may need some babying to get to that six by eight mark not necessarily will I be able to stick to that uh, grid there uh, but I like drawing it out as I like to have the references of where I'm going and, and what I'm doing um, you can always adjust it as you're going along so yeah just kind of a funky little funky log um, cutting it down was the right decision um, so bow there so see how it goes Well, that's what my six by eight by 10, yeah, by 10 ended up being. So I got two timbers. There's a six by six underneath that. Um, quite a bit of, there wasn't a lot of bonus material, uh, just, but was able to get a couple one by sixes out of it, but most of it too wavy to, to make extra bonus material out of but i'm glad to get what i got so put those away and grab one more i think i'm going to grab a shorty um i just have a couple hours before we're gonna have i'm gonna have to be inside so i think i can grab a 12 footer over there well just when you think you're gonna find something simple nothing's ever that simple um, nice looking log. 
I was taking some snow off and the bark started coming coming so I just took a second and debarked it before I put it on the meal um, so everything looks good until you look at the butt of this and a big tear out there so this log is a 12 footer I think I have to cut it down to a 10 foot log which cuts it right to, right to there and then I can cut some more six or at least another six by eight out of this one that's just I mean I would have liked to got a, a six by ten by twelve but now I have to get a six by eight by ten so ah it's all right but it's kind of a bummer um, cut that off and let's get sawn Cut her down to eight. Yeah, I'm good. Eric took over. I've been putting lumber away. It's raining again. Yeah. 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 Uh, this looks like this log's gonna produce some nice one by sixes. Quite a few of them, lots of them. Nice. Finally got this corner of the sawmill shed all cleaned up. Um, I had some one by 10 pine uh, that was left over from the board and vat and I just cut the rest of that up into um, stickers there. So. Can't guarantee it'll be, look like this forever, but it's pretty clean right now. What's not clean is this mud. Uh, we're supposed to get down lows 20, even down into the teens uh, this coming week. Partly sunny, so maybe we'll have some drying. I am a little worried about that freezing up like that, but it is what it is, so I think I'm just going to leave it.
Nice looking timber there, six by eight by 10. Yeah, 10 foot. So I actually got two, two of those today. Well, Eric just finishing up edging those uh, one by material into one by sixes. Uh, so you know, take any bonus material we can. Uh, that's gonna do it for today's video. Appreciate you watching. Um, supposed to get cold here. So we'll see what that does to the mud situation. Maybe even dry up a little bit. And, uh, but we'll be back at it again in the next day off. Uh, you guys have a great day and make sure you hit a, uh, like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And um, we always appreciate the comments. So you guys have a great day. Mm -hmm.